their thrones be seated. The choirs of the elves declare the last of the demons. The kingdom is thine to inherit. What are The Golden Dawn's most notorious member was a self-confessed Satanist, Alastair Crowley, who styled himself as the Beast. Crowley was one of the pantheon of cult figures portrayed on the cover of the Beatles record, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Crowley had already been trying to contact the devil in 1898 when he first made contact with the Order of the Golden Dawn. By 1900, Crowley was mingling with the elite of British society, sharing his knowledge of devil worship with leading Masonic politicians, aristocrats and royalty. Crowley was a full-time occultist and had no day job in which he had to hide his fascination with Freemasonry and Satanism. In his book, Confessions, Crowley claims he was initiated into Freemasonry at the Anglo-Saxon Lodge in Paris. He also recounts how he became master of one of London's oldest and most respected lodges, the Studholm Lodge, which is now rumoured to have Tony Blair as one of its members. Crowley shared Albert Pike's enthusiasm for the devil. In his book entitled Magic, Crowley writes, The devil is this serpent, Satan. He is life and love. He is light, and his zodiacal image is Capricornus, the leaping goat, the godhead. Secret societies often portray the goat of Mendes sitting in the Baphomet position. A statue of George Washington himself, a high-ranking Freemason, shows one of America's founding fathers sitting in the same occult posture as Crowley's goat-headed devil.